You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of good wishes from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 26th anniversary of the National Guard. In his cable, the Commander of the National Guard extended sincere congratulations and best wishes to His Majesty the King, affirming the patronage of His Majesty the King for the National Guard since its establishment. His Highness affirmed that the National Guard has become a pivotal force in the security and defense system in the kingdom thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King. He hailed His Majesty the King's sound visions and support to the National Guard since its inception to assume its role in defending Bahrain's sovereignty and security and protect its achievements. General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa reiterated unwavering allegiance to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King to continue leading the nation. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to the National Guard commander where he praised the role of the National Guard in protecting the gains of the kingdom alongside the BDF and public security units working together in maintaining the security and stability of the country. His Majesty hailed the achievements of the National Guard since its establishment and wished them success in making further accomplishments in supporting the Kingdom's march. His Majesty congratulated the National Guard commander and all affiliates on the occasion and wished them further success. His Rohanis the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of good wishes from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 26th anniversary of the National Guard. General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa congratulated His Royal Highness on the national occasion on behalf of all affiliates. The Commander of the National Guard noted that His Royal Highness's support for the National Guards since its inception has played a vital role in safeguarding the security of the Kingdom of Bahrain and protecting its achievements under the leadership of His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. In response, His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa following the congratulatory cable sent regarding the National Guard's 26th anniversary. His Royal Highness expressed congratulations to the National Guard Commander and affiliates on the occasion, commending their achievements. The Kingdom of Bahrain commemorates the anniversary of the founding of the National Guard on January the 7th of each year, an occasion to highlight the pivotal role of this military edifice and mark its contributions to the nation's development march. More in this report. A national monument that was established on January 7th, 1997 and kept pace with the latest systems and methods to achieve efficiency and readiness. Today, the National Guard celebrates its 26th anniversary and marks its pioneering military role alongside the Bahrain Defense Force and the Public Security Forces in defending the sovereignty, security and stability of the homeland and safeguarding its cultural and developmental gains. This military edifice witnessed vast development and modernization and became the cornerstone of the defense and security system in the Kingdom of Bahrain thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. And headed by the Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard witnessed qualitative development in terms of armament, as it capitalizes on its human element and pursues training and development programs as part of a strategic plan, which encompasses developing the competence, efficiency and readiness of the land and naval forces to respond to the call of duty across all fields. The National Guard takes pride in its affiliates, who exhibit the highest levels of competence, combat readiness, and ability to execute operations efficiently and competently to carry on their national duties. And the honorable history of the National Guard stands witness to the noble sacrifices of its soldiers who embody the best values of bravery, redemption, and patriotism. In the presence and follow-up of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Endurance Championship kicked off. The Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa International Cup race will be held for a distance of 160 kilometers. An international 
international 120 kilometer race, an international local race for a distance of 100 kilometers, in addition to the local qualifying races for a distance of 80 and 40 kilometers. Islani Sheikh Nasr was keen to follow up on all stages of the races, and his directives motivated the riders throughout the race. Islani Sheikh Nasr asserted that the championship has always been an important event in which jockeys compete and perform well, adding that it provides a platform to discover youth talents who will be able to represent the kingdom at various external endurance gatherings. He indicated that this year's championship had been successful given the high level of the participants, confirming the distinguished status reached by the endurance sports in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts exerted by Brief to provide all kinds of support for stables and jockeys, as well as put in place perfect conditions for the success of the championship. He added that the outstanding performance of jockeys during the championship will motivate them in the upcoming local and external events, particularly His Majesty the King's Cup, wishing all jockeys and stables further success. Al Zaim and Victoria's teams led the local races for a distance of 120 kilometers, while Al Nasr team led the international race. The 120 kilometer race for His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Cup for private stables has been postponed until next week. Jordanian Prime Minister and Defence Minister Dr. Bashar Khassauna and his accompanying delegation today left the kingdom following a four-day visit in which they took part in the fifth session of the Bahrain-Jordan Joint Hire Committee. He was bid farewell by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Head of the Mission of Honour, Dr. Abdul Latif, Ben Rashid Ezzayani, Cabinet Affairs Minister Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, Muharraq Governor Salman bin Isa bin Hindi al-Mana'i, Jordanian Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of Diplomatic Corps Rami Saleh al-Adwan, Bahrain's Ambassador to Jordan Ahmed Yusuf al rawai and Director General of the Prime Minister's Office Hamid Al Mahmid and senior officers from the Bahrain Defense Force, Interior Ministry, and National Guard. The Executive Committee of the Arab Interparliamentary Union in its 29th session, which was held in Cairo today, praised the role played by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King in supporting the process of joint Arab parliamentary action. The parliamentary delegations of the member states of the Executive Committee of the Arab Interparliamentary Union expressed their thanks and appreciation to the legislative authority in the Kingdom of Bahrain for supporting the work of the Union. The second Deputy Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed Garata, who heads the de parliamentary delegation, conveyed the greetings of the Speaker of the Representatives Council and President of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, Ahmed Limsellem, to the participants and his affirmation of the importance of working to achieve more of form the union, stressing on the commitment to the parliamentary division of the Kingdom of Bahrain to support Arab causes. 
The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced that Bahrain's largest entertainment annual festival city with STC will kick off on January the 12th and run until February the 2nd. The fourth edition was rescheduled to coincide with the spring school holidays in a bid to attract more visitors and tourists. The three-week festival will be held at the Bahrain International Circuit, the BIC, which is a venue that could attract a large number of crowds, including visitors from Bahrain and abroad, as well as a wide array of fun-filled activities that cater to the needs of families and all age groups. The festive event will feature a number of carnival games and outdoor markets, live entertainment and outdoor cinema, musical shows presented by local and foreign bands, a food court with outdoor seating for families, and a market for varied made in Bahrain products. The event is an extension of the Bahrain festive season which started last December. The season includes a package of wide-ranging programs and events that visitors, tourists and residents can enjoy, as well as a number of promotions represented in travel packages and accommodation in hotels in the kingdom to attract visitors and tourists. The full schedule of the festival event is available on calendar.bh. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 14th horse race meeting of the season on the club's racetrack in Rafa Sakhir. It was held for the Cups of the Montreal and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Also present were their Highnesses, representatives of sponsoring companies, and horse racing fans. The race comprised nine events where trophies were presented to the winners. Reigning champions Bahrain kicked off their title defense for the first game of the 8th Nation 25th Arab Gulf Cup today. The Bahraini team beat United Arab Emirates 2-1 in the first match played in Al Mina Olympic Stadium in the Iraqi city of Basra. Kamil Aswad scored the first goal in the 60th minute and Jansim al Sheikh scored the second goal in the 77th of the match while Sebastian Tagali scored the UAE's goals in the 90 plus 2 of the match. Bahrain and the UAE are in Group B along with Kuwait and Qatar. The tournament started yesterday with the hosts and Oman playing out a goalless draw in an afternoon Group A game, followed by Saudi Arabia beating Yemen 2 to 0 in the second Group A encounter under lights. Allah, 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 Allah! Kuwain,